If you're new to Canada, there's a few things that you need to know. And I know this from talking to some people that moved here and they're like, I wish I knew this before coming to Canada. For example, your wage, what you get paid, a big chunk goes to the government. And our weather, you're going to need a jacket and some mitts. So let's get right into it. I'm Tristan Ritchie and I'm a realtor here at Lake City Realty in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. Medium sized town of 165,000. Ton of people moving here for the quality of life, the affordability and the amount of jobs and opportunity that there is here. So I'm a realtor. I help people buy and sell homes. We don't really help renters that much, but there are some resources that can help you if you are moving to Sudbury or Canada. And um, I hope you enjoy the video and all this information. So let's get started. Number one, what I kind of mentioned earlier is the taxes. So recently I was talking to a coworker that has a fast food chain and they hired an employee that was super mad because they didn't understand where part of their paycheck was going. So up to a certain bracket, some people in Canada pay 50% of their income in taxes to the government. So I know that sounds crazy. In the lower tax, when you're just starting part-time job, just maybe minimum wage or just getting up there, then you're paying a little bit lower, but you pay into the CPP and OAS, so old age pension. So there's a few things that get deducted from your pay. So just know that if you get a job and they say $20 an hour, you might get to keep about 15 give or take so it's not the employer stealing from you it's just the way that it goes with the taxes and um and the other things the other government subsidies number two is the weather moving to canada you have to know we're a northern country we have a lot of ups and downs in our weather we have some really warm times like today it was plus 20 something here in Sudbury but it also drops quite low to the minus 30s and 40s so that gets really really cold so cold that sometimes our cars don't start so what you need when you're moving to Canada or Sudbury more specifically is a big jacket a very warm jacket toque mitts boots and even snow pants or or long john what we call them so thin pants that you wear under your pants just to just to stay warm in the really really cold weather so you gotta be prepared for that because that can be harsh. Number three, moving to Sudbury, anywhere in Canada, but Sudbury specifically, housing. Understand it, know where to look for it. I have other videos on housing and how to find an apartment or a house. I can help you find a house if you're looking to buy here in Sudbury. But really understand the housing, the prices, the costs, because there are some people moving to Canada and they don't have a place to stay and there's a shortage right now. So there's people competing for apartments. They're paying more, it's getting quite expensive, kind of like people were doing with houses for a little while. So really know where you're going and where to look and try to line it up before you get there. Have your references, have a couple months up front so you can say, hey, here, I have the cash and don't get screwed by a landlord. Make sure you get a lease signed if you're giving them cash. Next up, number four is healthcare. This is one of the awesome parts of living in Canada. And I know I talked about how you give up a lot in taxes to our government, one of the benefits is free healthcare. So if you get sick or you break a bone or you have to have surgery in Canada, it is free. You pay for it on the back end with your taxes and everyone pitches in, right? Um, but it is good to know that you have that safety net. So the one negative I will say is if you are going to emerge or if you go to a walk-in clinic, so those are the two options. Walk-in clinic, you can just go at any time. You walk in, you take a number, um, and then you wait your turn, and they see you, and that's usually for things that aren't too serious. If it's something very serious, you need to be seen right away, you go to the eMERGE at the hospital. Same thing, you get a number, they put you uh, through a filter, then they assess you and see where you're going compared to other people. The negative part is, because it's a government-run entity, it's extremely slow. You're gonna wait two, I've waited three hours in a waiting room at a walk-in clinic. I've waited two hours at Emerge to get seen. So you really gotta be careful, just understand that part of it. So, but again, it's free. So are most of the drugs. You pay a small fee for them, but most of them are free. Then next up is the cost of living. So know where you're gonna be spending your money. If you're moving to Sudbury or Canada, you gotta understand that you're gonna spend a lot in rent. That's gonna be a big chunk of your paycheck. And then in terms of food and entertainment and traveling, you really gotta know your budget. So each city is a little bit different. Here in Sudbury, it's very affordable. The food isn't crazy. Um, the entertainment isn't crazy. There's a lot of free parks and outdoors activities that you can do. We have Science North, it's not too expensive. You can bring the family. If you're in Toronto, everything you do costs money. So your rent is way, way higher, probably double the cost that it is here in Sudbury. And then you're paying for everything that you do. A lot of people are moving to Sudbury because it's a great place to raise a family. 
there's a lot more freedom. If you want to just go outside, you're not living in a condo and then you have to go outside on the concrete jungle, they call it. Here, my backyard, there's tons of trees. I got a park. I got a skating, outdoor skating rink right in my backyard, basically. There's some great aspects of living here, but understand the costs of everything as well. Um, everything's a little bit cheaper. The restaurants are a little bit cheaper. Rent is way cheaper, but our utilities are higher and you're gonna for sure need a bus pass or a car when you're in Sudbury because everything's a little bit more spread out. So budget a little bit for that. So those are the quick tips. If you're moving to Canada, more specifically, if you're moving to Sudbury, those are the things that you need to know. So again, I'm Tristan Ritchie from Lake City Realty. I'm a realtor, I help buyers and sellers a lot of relocations, find homes to buy here or sell their home in Sudbury, Ontario. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at any time. There's tons of resources and we would love to help.